our next speaker is a new member, Michelle Taylor. How I found my way to Wilmington and Toastmasters. After 18 years of being a visitor in Wilmington, Michelle and her family decided to make Wilmington their home. Her professional pursuits have provided new opportunities which have led her here and led her to us at Toastmasters. This is an icebreaker speech, and that's three to five minutes. Please welcome Michelle. Well, how exciting that I get to be here today and do an icebreaker. So I thought, how do I introduce myself to you? Do I tell you about my family structure and how at the age 12 I ended up with five older stepsisters, one with a proclivity of chasing me around the house with a knife, and I thought, <laughs> that's probably not a great way to start. Um, I thought, wow, I could share with you uh, my passion for glass and how you can take something cold and hard and put it in a kiln and it will turn into this molten glowing orange lava that you can change into a shape that's just wonderful. I could do that. And then I thought, elephants, that's my real passion. What if I shared with you how I've been so lucky I've gotten to ride elephants in five different countries. And then I thought I could probably talk about each one of those easily for seven to 10 minutes or even 30 minutes. So I thought I would rein it in a little bit and tell you what brought me to Wilmington and why I'm here at Toastmasters. So we have been the consummate tourists for 18 years in Wilmington. We would come and visit my parents who moved here, and we have been on the red trolley. I can probably recite everything that that, that, that guy says. We have been to Kilwins. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you how many times, but we've definitely kept that tradition going. And then, I knew, I knew it was bad when one day our 16-year-old said, Mom, no 16-year-old girl should ever have to go to the battleship three times. <laughs> okay, I agree. Um, all of that touring came in really handy when we moved here three years ago. Our family is a family of realtors, and we have a business here. And so when somebody calls and they ask about Wilmington, I can give them details. <laughs> and I can also share the lifestyle and what's so great about, about living here. So in my profession, I've had some really neat opportunities lately. And one of those is to be a coach. And this, it's a club wealth coach. Uh, it's a real honor. It's a national and actually international because we just went into Canada. So along with these responsibilities, I have clients that I coach weekly. It's a, it's a new endeavor to me. But there's opportunities to speak. There's opportunities to take 20 or 30 people and moderate a mastermind group and to make every person feel included and important in that. There's an opportunity to deal with 50 to 100 people where I might be able to connect and teach on a subject and then there's the big stage. And the big stage goes about 100 feet, and so I need to learn to be really comfortable in a room and where I can make everybody feel included. And so I thought here at Toastmasters would be a really good place for me to be able to practice those things with my wonderful mentor saying that I don't fall, won't fall down and that I can just make it through it. So I appreciate being here today for that. Um, Okay. Oh, gosh. And then a really exciting thing happened yesterday. I received a letter from HGTV, which I had done a little interview, and they had reached out and said, we have this opportunity. And you've probably seen on TV where they take some clients, and you go to three different places, and they have to choose their home. We film next month. Yes. So, so I only have, uh, next month happens to be like next week. So I welcome your input. I welcome your critique. Um, I could use some help, like I said, in, in doing things with, with making everybody feel important in a room. How many times I'm saying, oh, love that, he's totally concentrating, don't worry, I'm not watching, every time your pen strokes. Um, and how many times I say, um, and how I work with the room and how I make everybody feel comfortable. I welcome your critiques, and in the future, I really look forward to telling you about elephants. I look forward to telling you about glass. I would love to tell you about my family. I will probably skip the knife-wielding sister. <laughs> but in the meantime, please feel free to come up and, and critique me, and um, I welcome everything. Thank you so much.